Attention today in PA listeners. Don't miss the President's Day window special at Renewal by Anderson of Central PA. Buy one window or door, get one window or door at 40% off and take an additional $200 off your project. Plus $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest for one year. Sale ends February 28th, 2023. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, go to rbacentralpadeals.com. That's rbacentralpadeals.com. CBD gummies laced with fentanyl and heroin were sold at stores in Montgomery County. Meanwhile, an after-school Satan club is the very lively talk of one town. Pennsylvanians have a higher tax burden than most other Americans. Also, where did the Tin Man go? I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin R. Steeler is calling it, quote, a public safety nightmare, reports the Reading Eagle. Three tobacco huts in the county sold CBD gummies that were later found to have traces of fentanyl and heroin in them. Authorities were alerted last week to two people who had OD'd after taking the gummies, which came from several brands sold at the locations. Strictly Delta, Herb Extracts, and Packwoods Coned. Search warrants were issued at all tobacco hut stores in the county Thursday, with all packages of those brands seized. More fentanyl was found in those packages after testing. No arrests have been made, and the investigation is still going on as of the reporting of this podcast. The two people that OD'd have since recovered. After attempts in other locations were shot down previously, Pennsylvania's first ever after-school Satan Club will begin at Saucon Valley Middle School next month, reports Lehigh Valley Live. And it has, to say the least, the area talking. District policy plus a federal Supreme Court ruling dictates that if a district allows one outside organization to use its facilities, it has to open up to every outside organization. As the district allows for a Christian organization to operate on its grounds after school, Superintendent Jamie Flassati concluded that the after-school Satan Club should be allowed to as well, a reasoning that some residents agree to. Others, not so much. Spokeswoman for the Child Evangelism Fellowship, Lydia Kaiser, says attending such a club, quote, Where's a child's inhibition to attending a truly satanic event or organization when they're older? As for what kids will actually be doing at the after-school Satan Club, that would be making cards for sick kids and making toy ropes for dogs, among other things. It will be run by the Satanic Temple. The school, by the way, is located in Hellertown, which is now apparently aptly named. Pennsylvanians have a higher tax burden than most other Americans, states the Center Square via the Tribune Review. Now, a tax burden is different from overall tax rates in that it's measured as a ratio of revenues collected by a tax to levels of personal income. This means the focus is more on how much revenue a tax brings to the state as opposed to the tax rate set by law. A yearly comparison by the Independent Fiscal Office found Pennsylvania's levels to be above average, although on the whole, the state ranks 21st for highest in the U.S. The largest money-making taxes for Pennsylvania state and local governments were property taxes and the personal income tax. There's something missing in downtown York, notices Penn Live. The city's iconic Tin Man sculpture is still gone from its usual spot. Called the Tinker, as it's modeled after the famous Thinker statue, the Tin Man has sat and pondered life opposite of the Strand Capitol for over a decade. The reason he's been absent is not because he went looking for a heart, but because he was moved to accommodate some street work. Mayor Michael Helfrich says he's not sure whether the statue can return to his original spot since the street work took away some of the sidewalk he once sat on. But rest assured, officials are looking for a new place for him to call home. That wraps up today's episode. For even more news, drop by penlive.com. And please remember to rate this podcast on either Apple or Amazon and to leave it an honest review if you can. Thanks ahead of time. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back again tomorrow for another round of Today in a PA. Attention today in PA listeners. Don't miss the President's Day window special at Renewal by Anderson of Central PA. Buy one window or door, get one window or door at 40% off and take an additional $200 off your project. Plus $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest for one year. Sale ends February 28th, 2023. 
For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, go to rbacentralpadeals.com. That's rbacentralpadeals.com.